Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail, and in this episode we revisit AOAA, the Anthracite Outdoor Adventure Area in Cole Township, Pennsylvania. Now it's been a while since we've been out here formally. We have been here for a charity run for the Fight the Blight, but we haven't really explored too much. And this time we really got out to the western area and we were able to explore a bit. We did see some sights. It was just a beautiful day. Join us on this trip. We'll highlight some of the areas that we think that you should visit. And why is this still one of the premier areas in Pennsylvania for you to spend your day there? Now the Western Reserve has always been my favorite when it comes to the two different regions that AOAA offers. Wide open trails, beautiful pines, this time of year the leaves are changing, you'll get great colors if you want to bring the family out, and also great riding. Now some of these hills are a lot of fun, you'll get some decent sized rocks, and there's trails for all kinds of experience want to have that one friend that wants to go racing through the woods or climbing rocks and you will find uh, whatever you want there. There's also some scenic areas as well. Now you can take a short ride off the trail and go see items like the Whaleback which is a rock formation in the distance. You can go see glacier rocks. You can also see Dead Lake. There's a lot of different areas and they're all labeled on the map. And that's one great thing about AOAA is that you don't need major technology in the form of mapping or tablets to find out where you're going. They do a great job. There's large paper maps available when you register or you can go into the check-in area and they have these printed out on 11 by 17s. So you don't really need a navigator. You can access these very readily. And if you do have technology, you can find these maps on Onyx, on Ride Command, or Maprika. And there's many, many options that you can use to find your way around. They do an excellent job to let you know how to get back to the trailhead. They also have been putting up signs that indicate how far you are, how many minutes is it going to take to get back to the trailhead from your location. Now I would recommend one thing is just make sure that you plan the time. The one aspect of AOAA which is very strict is going to be the gates close on the Western Reserve at a certain time. They will post that time on the gate. Please make sure that you're back. Please be aware that they run this as a business and it's not an all night after hours riding facility. You have to be back off the property. The other rules are you must wear a helmet at all times when you're riding. Now that includes the parking lot even if you're doing five miles an hour over to register. You can also fill out your waiver online to save yourself some time. Saturday mornings the line can get quite busy. Check the hours on the website. You will run into other individuals on the trail and some will be going the same way as you, but if they are coming the opposite way, please just be aware to use hand signals. We have another video out on safety, which we'll put the link up here so you can see. Just make sure other people know how many people are behind you and be safe about it. Most of these trails are not tight. You'll be able to have oncoming traffic pass you. Now we had a great time. We wound up spending most of the time on the western area and we went there early because of the gate closes earlier. But as one of the tips, if you are going this time of the year, which is in November, you will have the sun pretty low in the sky. 
when you are on the eastern area, sometimes it's better to go to the eastern area in the morning. That way you don't have the sun in your eyes when you're returning at the end of the day on the eastern region. Eastern Reserve is a very large area and adjacent on the other side of the parking lot is just a huge area of big open fields and cascading hills that go down into the valley and up on top of the ridge. You'll find some crisscrossing paths with something for everybody. We suggest that you uh, spend a day in the East Reserve and maybe a second day over in the western area. It'll give you enough time to see it all. Now what is the eastern side known for? It is known for the mud pits. And as you can see here, Gary is exploring into some of the full-size areas. These ruts will be very deep and they're typically ridden by uh, the full-size vehicles. So this is what's known as a limited recovery or a no recovery area. What does this mean? This means that AOAA is not going to be able to recover you if you get stuck and you will incur the cost of an outside company to be recovered. Just be advised, follow the signs, and be prepared if you are going to go into these areas. Miguel here showing me a little bit about uh, how deep the water is so I can get some footage of what's coming in through his Can-Am. Just you will find such a great different variety of trails. You have somebody who wants to be head to toe in mud, this is the place. You want someone who wants to slosh through the swamp, this is the place. There's some great rock climbing in here as well. There are many dedicated full-size vehicle areas, so if you see them, check them out. Give them enough space because they do have much larger obstacles that they go through. AOAA is highly recommended and we hadn't been here for a full review for a year but it's still enjoyable. Here we are in November and the temperatures are coming down but it is still a great place to ride. We recommend it. Fill out your waiver online before you get there. You'll be given a tag for your helmet, a ribbon, and you'll be able to utilize that. Uh, as you can see a lot of these trails are wide open but some are smaller and you'll have a great time. So we recommend that you get out to AOAA. If you get out there and you see Dave who runs the whole show, definitely tell him that we said hi and the beaten trail sent you. You can have a lot of fun at these locations, but be safe. Check out our safety video that we'll also put up there. We appreciate you watching this episode as well as all our others, and we're looking to expand our videos for other locations in Pennsylvania. So thanks again for watching. Please be sure to click on one of our Amazon links before you start shopping on Amazon. It helps support the channel and gives us a little extra bonus as uh, you do your shopping, even if you don't buy anything that we're selling. So thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you out there on the trail.